All new at 10 forced out for future construction. Residents of a Valley mobile home park are being told to prepare to move. The community is located near 12th Street and Indian School. ABC 15's Ashley Holden is joining us live from there. And Ashley, a community meeting got intense tonight, didn't it? Yeah, emotions were running high tonight and people tell me that it's because this is their home and residents here at Weldon Court, they found out that by April they have to be out whether they can move their home or not. Tuesday, many people living in Weldon Court in Phoenix left a community meeting outraged. They tell me four days ago they were told their land wasn't going to be a mobile home park anymore. It put us in a panic state. Homeowners like Robert Cooper say the property is eventually going to be turned into condos, something we are working to confirm. Robert now has around 180 days to figure out where to go and how to afford the move. A lot of these trailers are fixed. They're into the ground and they won't be able to move them. Robert says he started calling other parks and none of them would accept a mobile home as old as his. I know uh, that uh, it's open season on mobile home parks because they're prime real estate. Not everybody got an email. People with homes in the park, like Carmen Prieto, going door to door, letting their neighbors know many who only speak Spanish. What will you guys do if I'm going to look? I mean, I don't know. My trailer's movable, but they don't take trailers uh, as old as ours. Do you like, think that there are people that won't be able to afford a home, an apartment, and they might just be like, I mean, homeless? Oh, yes. These amounts are set by statute. They're the law. Well, we don't know the law, so we would like to have a legal representative. Homeowners showed up at Tuesday's community meeting, hoping to talk to the owners of the property, but instead, representatives from the Arizona Department of Housing and other nonprofits were there. They let people know their options, including abandoning or signing over their mobile home for less than $2,000, or trying to relocate with some assistance funds. The funds are outdated. The amount is outdated. I did try to contact the real estate company residents had been speaking to, but they told me no one was in the office that could speak to me. I would like you to come answer all these people. They have a lot of concerns. They're outraged. In Phoenix, Ashley Holton, ABC 15, Arizona.